Hi everyone, I am Avinash Sajit of class 9 Silver Hills Public School and today I will be taking the topic work from chapter 11 work and energy. What is work? In layman language the word work means any physical activity or mental activity that we do in our daily lives. Physical activities like pushing a table or jogging or running and mental activities like playing games or reading books. But in physics, work is any physical quantity in which some condition are needed to be satisfied. First, the f a force must act on an object and second, uh, the object must have a displacement. Like when we are pushing a table, we are applying a force on the table and when we push it, it moves and it becomes to somewhere else. So we can, there is a displacement also happening there. So we are doing a work. Therefore, we can conclude that work done is force into displacement. And the unit of work done is joule, which is ca denoted by capital J or Newton meter. Let's have a look at some questions. So first, a pair of bullocks exert a force of 140 Newton on a plow. The field is 15 meters long. How much work is done by bullocks in plowing the length of the field? So we have been given the force, which is 140 Newton. And we also have the displacement, which is 15 meter. So work done is equal to force into displacement, as we see in the last slide. So 140 into 15 which is equal to 2100 joule oh and in this we are just converting the joule into kilojoule by dividing it by 1000 so we get 2.1 kilojoule next a person of mass 60 kg climbs a tower of height 70 meter calculate the work done by him against gravity and take acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square. So we have mass which is 60 kilogram and we have the height of the tower which is 70 meter and we have also been given the acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square. So work done is equal to force into displacement. So over here we are going to take as mass into acceleration due to gravity which is equal to 60 into 10 into 70. The 60 is the mass, the 10 is the acceleration due to gravity and the height is 70. So we get 42,000 joule. So we are just converting here again into kilojoule. So we get 42 kilojoule. So therefore, the work done by the person is 42 kilojoule. Next, we have the different types of work. There are three types of work. First is positive work, second is negative work and third is zero work. Now let us discuss what these three are. First, positive work, when the direction of force and displacement is the same. So over here when we are, when we are pushing a table, the, uh, we are applying a force and the displacement also happens in the same direction as we give the force. So over there we are doing a positive work or we, next example uh, when a lawn mower is pushed by applying a force along the handle at an acute angle work done by applied force is positive over here a lawn mower is pushed by applying a force on the handle so a force is being applied and over here we have been given acute angle a acute angle is an angle which is more than zero degree but less than 90 degree. So over here we are applying a force and the displacement is also there. So we, that is a positive work. Here the person is pushing the lawn mower at an acute angle. So he, when the force is applied it moves. So over here a positive work is being done. Next negative work when the direction of force and displacement are opposite to each other. When a uh, player kicks the ball into the goal post, the goalkeeper tries to save it. The ball exerts a force on the goalkeeper's hand, but the goalkeeper also pushes it to the opposite side. Over there, a negative work is being done. So, another example is any force that is done against gravity, like when a bucket is pulled upwards by a force and it 
moves some distance vertically upwards. So when we lift a bucket of water or something or just a bucket, we pull it upwards. So we are doing it against the gravity. So the gravitational force makes it downward. So a force is being applied towards the down. But when you are pushing it, the displacement is opposite to the direction of the force. So over there, a negative work is being done. Over here, the ball is being kicked and the goalkeeper is trying to push it outwards from the goalpost. Next, we have zero work when a force is applied, but there is no displacement or when a displacement is present, but no force is acting on the body or when both displacement and force is acting, but the angle is 90 degree. When a coolie is carrying some load on his head, moves on a horizontal platform in order to balance the load on his head, he applies a force on the load in the upward direction, but the angle between force and displacement is 90 degree. Therefore, work done is zero. Like when a coolie carries our luggages, he keeps it on the head. In order to balance that weight over his head, he keeps it at 90 degree. Over here we can see, he keeps it at 90 degree so that it does not fall. Due to gravity, it gives a pressure over here. He also applies a force on the luggages. But over here, due to 90 degree, we can say that he is not doing any work. So in today's section, we learned what is work, work done is equal to force into displacement and the unit of work which is joule or newton meter, then we discussed at some problems and we looked at what are the nature of work which is positive work, negative work and zero work. Thank you.